Steve Cooper Rank Success and this is another video in the series of CVF competency videos just to share some thoughts uh, around the, the CVF uh, to help you if you're putting together an application or preparing for an interview or you just want to try and understand the CVF from a perspective uh, that's meaningful. Um, so this uh, video is about the competency we are emotionally aware and being emotionally aware is a key characteristic, a key need for uh, leadership at all levels. Uh, and particularly today in a, what we call a VUCA world, volatile, uncertain, complex and ambiguous, people with emotional intelligence can stand out. And generally, the higher people go up organizations, um, generally, the more emotional intelligence they have or they demonstrate in the workplace. Um, so when you are looking for uh, guidance or support in relation to this. Again, my approach is grab a pencil and a paper, and just write down, just jot down some thoughts. What do you think it means now? We are emotionally aware. Start finding what you've got at the moment in your head uh, and, and jot it down. And then what I would suggest you do is don't go to the CVF. I would suggest that you go and look at the work of Daniel Goleman. And Daniel Goleman is the authority who first used the term, I think, um, emotional intelligence. And if you have a look at it, he splits it up into four key areas, uh, and they are self-awareness, and that's generally brought about through reflection, building in time, taking in time yourself to, to reflect and think through your working day, to think through the decisions that you've made, and in that way you can look back on things and do things differently, consider things differently, and you consider views and perspectives of other people. So um, self-awareness is one element of emotional intelligence. Um, Self-management, the ability to manage your own emotions uh, and to control or, or respond to your own emotions uh, so that you can actually manage other people's emotions, which you'll be doing as a line manager, as a supervisor, as a leader. Um, ask yourself, a question, do, you, do you react to things or do you respond to things? There's a slight difference in the two, but Goldman talks about um, self-management being the ability to control your emotions. Um, the third element of it is social awareness, which is really good. So your organizational awareness, that's what you'll be doing, preparing for a promotion board, is developing your awareness, raising your awareness of the organization, the challenges facing policing, um, the challenges facing your force. And part of that really as well is uh, social awareness is your level of empathy. You know, how empathetic are you? How empathetic are you? Um, have a think about that, reflect on that. Um, focusing on service, um, uh, your, your focus on service. So organizational awareness, your level of empathy and a focus on service, compose your, your social awareness. Um, so do some, some work around the organization, your organizational work, what do you know at the moment about the force and its challenges and its needs, the communities, what they need. So raise your own awareness in relation to that. Um, and the fourth uh, element of it really is uh, that Goldman describes is relationship management. So developing yourself as an inspiring leader, um, managing conflict, uh, being a catalyst for change. Um, all of these things are part of being a leader, a supervisor, a manager in the police service. Um, so go and have a look at Daniel Goldman before you go anywhere near the CVF. And then when you do go across to the CVF, um, you can have a look at it and uh, have a look at your own thoughts that you wrote down on paper. Have a look at what you've learned from Daniel Goleman's overview of emotional intelligence, what it is, what it isn't. And then start looking at the CVF. And if you look at the CVF descriptors, they talk about, um, I've just got a little note of me, the key ones, um, considering the perspectives of other people. Well, that's emotionally aware. Uh, you've got to listen. Um, you've got to include people. Uh, you've got to listen to ideas, views, and suggestions and perspectives. So, um, that's not surprising. Adapting your style and approach according to, the, to needs. Um, your staff, your people um, will need, have different needs, different skills, different abilities, and you as a leader, as a manager, as a supervisor will need to adapt your approach to them. Um, <clears throat> encouraging reflective practice and taking time to support others. Pretty much basic stuff, really. Uh, encouraging reflective practice. So if you're required to reflect as a sign of emotional awareness or a characteristic of emotional awareness, you'll want your staff to do that as well. And you'll need to give them some time sometimes, and um, particularly where they've demonstrated inappropriate behaviors and you're required to act, uh, which you should do as a sergeant, as an inspector, because it's uh, still a disciplined service. 
and discipline falls to sergeants to set and maintain and communicate standards of discipline. So if you've got people that have demonstrated inappropriate behaviours, building some time for them if it's appropriate for them to reflect. Um, taking responsibility for the well, well-being and the welfare of your teams. And it's also part of the uh, competency, the CVF competency, we're emotionally aware. Uh, and again, that's linked to the, the sergeant's role, uh, taking responsibility for the welfare and well-being of individuals, um, considering um, you know coping with pressure, workplace pressures, personal health issues, and signposting and directing them to support uh, and staff support organisations and facilities. <clears throat> so that's just a quick whistle-stop tour around the competency, um, the CVF competency, we're emotionally aware. Have a look at it, have a look at Daniel Goleman, but first and foremost, write your own notes down and go from there. Um, if you like this video, um, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you like to follow me on uh, social media, it's at rank underscore success. Uh, Facebook is rank success. And uh, I look forward to doing another video for you shortly.